Hello and welcome to Matrix Tutorials number 6. Today the episode is going to be relatively short. We're going to learn how to bridge your community to Slack and Discord. So first of all, I'm going to show you a little dummy community I created about people who enjoy warm drinks. We have th three channels, one for coffee, one for hot cocoa and one for tea. I've got a Slack uh, workspace in which I have a coffee channel and I have created another community on Discord uh, so a Discord server on which I've got the coffee, tea and hot cocoa channels. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, bridge the coffee channel to Slack and we're going to bridge the hot cocoa to Discord. Nothing prevents you from bridging one room to um, both Slack and Discord, but for the sake of simplicity, we're going to use a single bridge per room. So let's get started with the coffee one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on room info and then at the very bottom I've got add widgets, bridges and bots. So I'm going to click on this. It's going to offer me several integrations and what I'm really interested in is Slack. So I'm going to click on Slack. Um, I'm going to add a bridge and it's telling me that I need to log into Slack. So. I'm going to do this right away. It opens a new window and he's going to ask me to add a new application to Slack. So this is a sort of little agent the bridge is going to rely on to be able to read what's happening on the on the Slack side and to post the messages uh, sent to Slack on Matrix and the other way around. So it's asking for quite a few authorizations but it's because the bridge needs to know what's happening to be able to forward the messages. So I'm going to allow it and it's going to tell me that my account has been successfully connected to the Slack bridge, which is good news. I can close this window, which I'm doing. And then I'm back to element, which is telling me my workspace warm drinks uh, is connected. So I'm going to list the channels and I can choose a channel I want to bridge. So I'm going to click on coffee. And it's going to tell me that I was bridged. Um, I need to make sure I have the bot added to the Slack channel. So as it says here, so I'm going to do exactly this. So I'm copying the command. I'm in the coffee room and I'm going to inv invite the element bridge. Here we go. So this is the free bridge that is hosted on matrix.org. If you want to have a faster bridge, you will need to host your own home server and bridge instance. Uh, I'm not going to cover that in, in this video because I really wanted to go for the simplest and the fastest. But if you're interested, let me know in the comments and we can do another video on, on the full setup to host your own um, home server and Slack bridge. Okay. Um, so let's test if I'm saying hello. So as you can see, my user on matrix is Tibiscus. I said hello in the channel. And if I go to Slack, I can see my user Tibiscus saying hello. And I can answer it. Hello yourself. And if I go back to element, I can see the message sent from Slack to my matrix channel. So it worked perfectly and very simply. Okay, let's close Slack um, and we're going to do it with uh, Discord now. So with Discord, it's a little bit more complicated, though not really. Uh, Matrix.org doesn't host a Discord bridge, but there is a free Discord bridge hosted on t2bot.io. And if you go to Discord, you have very straightforward instructions on how to add um, the Discord bridge. So we are just going to follow them. So in the matrix room, you need to invite this bot, which is what I'm going to do. Invite Discord Titubot. Then I need to use this link to invite the bridge to my Discord server. Which I'm going to do. Warm drinks community, continue. So a little bit like um, 
like with Slack, the br the bridge needs to be able to uh, see what's happening on the Discord side. So it's asking for quite a few permissions, which I'm going to authorize. Then I'm going to go to be rooted to Discord. Oh uh, no, so it's just saying me I'm authorized. Okay, back to TTBot to get the rest of the instructions. Um, so I can see the bridge has joined. So number three, open the text channel in the Discord web application and look at the URL. What you need to do is to copy the server ID and channel ID of uh, the URL. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm in Hot Cocoa. Uh, and what I'm interested in are those number at the end of the URL. Okay, uh, just saving them in the in the text box, and I can issue the command Discord bridge server ID channel ID. So let's copy that. Discord bridge server ID channel ID. So Discord is going to ask permission uh, to the server administrator to make this bridge. So let's go to Discord. The bridge is indeed asking me to approve or deny. So I'm going to approve. Let's approve. The bridge has been approved. Fantastic. So the channel is bridge. So if I say hello Discord, and I go to the Discord site, I can see Tibiscus has sent hello Discord. So you can see a little bit of a ugly avatar here, the, the Discord within uh, square brackets. Uh, this is just because my user doesn't have an avatar here. If I had an avatar, it would um, um, show uh, on, on the Discord side. So let's say hello yourself. And that's it. I've got the message that make it through. So that's it, fairly simple and straightforward. And with that, I have bridged my community to both Slack and Discord, and I could bridge the same channel both to Discord and Slack if I really wanted to. That's it, see you around uh, next week.